Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. I have a really, really interesting tutorial today and one that I think is gonna revolutionize the way that you work and it's gonna save you a lot of time in rendering. So let's say that we want to take an object buffer for each of these DVDs and also the text and the floor. Now, if you have been using Octane, you know that you have to right click and add a Octane tag. You have to go into the object layer and add a instance ID or layer ID. Then you have to go into your render settings, you have to go to your render layer mask, and you have to make a corresponding mat for every single item. And that's not the worst part. The worst part is that every single render layer mask has to render out separately, and they add up a lot. So this is a pretty tedious way to set things up and also a very slow way to render things. So with the new crypto mat, this whole thing is kind of obsolete in a lot of ways. There are still some cases when you're going to want to use it, but crypto mats are really, really powerful. So here's what we're going to do. First of all, make sure you upgrade to Octane 2018.1, and then you're going to have this crypto passes right here. So instead of setting up all your mats, all you're going to do is go into your render settings. Make sure that you are on EXR and the one that has Octane in parentheses. If you use the regular EXR, it will not work. In fact, if you check this out, if we have our render layer masks and we switch this to the XR Octane version, that entire section disappears and all we can use is this crypto passes. So this is the new one that you're gonna to wanna to use, EXR Octane, and then you're gonna to wanna to go down to your crypto passes and probably only check on material node and the crypto object node. If you have the materials and the objects, that should be everything that you need. Now, the beauty about this is that this is gonna bring over all of your objects into After Effects with a mat, and you don't have to set up any of these tags. You can just delete all these. You don't have to do any of that. It'll do it automatically. And the other amazing thing is that this no longer is going to add to your render time. This stuff all renders instantly, which is phenomenal. So just to let you know, I tested this render a frame with all the object buffers took three minutes per frame. And when I used just a crypto mat, it was one minute and 20 seconds. So uh, less than half of the time. So that's a pretty substantial time savings. All right, so once you set up your crypto mats, you can go ahead and hit render. We're gonna jump into After Effects. All right, so I have the render and I also have the EXR. All right, drag the EXR into a new composition. We'll also drag our render. Now, normally with After Effects EXRs, you would use Extractor. So this is the plugin that you usually use. However, for crypto mats, we need something different. Now it's made by the same company, but it probably isn't included in your After Effects. So you're gonna have to go to the link that I provide to go to Pro EXR Ultimate EXR Plugins and go ahead and download this. It's free and once you unzip it, you can install the crypto mat plugin in your After Effects plugins folder. All right, so after you restart After Effects, now we can type in CryptoMat, and here we are starting to see something. All right, so in CryptoMat, in this gray area, you can just click and you'll get a pop-up. Under Layer, we have our Material node and our Object node. Let's go to Object first and hit OK. And now you can see that we have a color for every object in our scene, which is phenomenal. All right, so let's click on one, and you'll notice that it turns into a mat. If we go to the output and change it from colors to matte only, we now have a matte for that DVD, which is pretty awesome. What if we want more than one of those DVDs? Well, let's go back to our colors and all you have to do is hit shift and you'll see a little plus next to your arrow, click on a different one and you can start adding them into your selection, which is pretty crazy. If you wanna undo them, you can hold alt, you'll get a little uh, scissor there. And if you click with alt, then it will subtract from your selection. All right, so let's check that out. We have a mat for these two. This is a Luma mat, so we can go to Luma mat, and now we have those DVDs selected. We can go ahead and drag that same render below, and now if we wanna add a levels adjustment and brighten up some of those DVDs, we can do that very easily. As you can see, that's quite easy to do. And if we wanted to make another one, we could uh, duplicate that EXR, we'll go into it, and this time let's try changing it to material node and let's go to our colors. So these are the materials. So now we could actually select say the floor if we wanted to. Let's select the floor, make a mat only and let's duplicate the render again, put it underneath the mat, change this to Luma mat. 
and now we have the floor. So we can play around with the floor. We could play around with the uh, hue, saturation, uh, levels. We can do whatever we want to the floor. All right, so we desaturated the floor. Now it looks like we have some green spill on our octane text. Let's get rid of that and go back to our EXR. All right, so let's select the octane text here and we'll go back to our mat only. And now we have that section isolated. Let's drag our render and make that a luma mat of that mat. And now we have our text, so we can also do a hue saturation adjustment on that. So we can kill the green spill on that one. And we can also do that with our bundle text as well. All right, so with that overview, you can see how powerful this new workflow is. Just with the click of one checkbox, you can bring in all of these different mats for your objects. And the best thing is it doesn't add to your render time at all. So speeds up your setup time, speeds up your render time, and you have as much flexibility is definitely a game changer in my book. I hope you guys found that useful. And as always, thank you for checking out the Pixel Lab. Talk to you next time. Ciao.